Hi everyone, Andrea Vall, co-author of Facebook Marketing All-in-One for Dummies and wig wearing comedian. And today I'm going to show you how to target the fans of another Facebook page with an ad. I'm going to show you this from the Facebook Ads Manager. So basically all you need to do is create a campaign and then navigate to the ad set level. So I have created a campaign. I chose my objective as leads and now I'm at the ad set level here. If I scroll up here, I'm at this ad set level and I need to scroll all the way down to the audience area of the ads set level and to the detailed targeting. And that's where you can plug in a Facebook page name and see if it comes up as a match. Now, not all Facebook pages are able to be targeted. Typically, it's a function of how large they are. I find that oftentimes pages of 50,000 fans and above are more likely to be able to be targeted, but not always. Sometimes I also find fan pages that are pretty small, even less than 10,000 fans that do come up with a match. So let's just give an example of social media examiner. And when I pull this up, I can see that it comes up as an employer so I could target the employees of Social Media Examiner. And we can see here that Social Media Examiner does not have 2,700 employees, but they may just have some people who have claimed to be employees or who knows how Facebook is getting that actual size. Facebook doesn't tell us exactly where it pulls these numbers from. And the size of the fan page may not match exactly what shows up here in the size of the audience. So if I use this as an interest, that typically means that is the fan page and the fans of that fan page that you are then showing your ad to. If it comes up as a match, you can select it and now you can see the estimated audience side, size over here based on some of the other uh, parameters you may have put in the demographic. So I'm choosing here United States only. I could adjust my age range and that estimated audience size would change. Now, if I go to type something in and there isn't a match, so say for example, my own page, Andrea Vall Inc., it's not coming up with a match. It comes up with some weird words based on like some of the, the text I've put in here, but it, there's no actual match to select. So that means that I am now not able to target the fans of, of my page with, a, with an ad if I were someone else. I can obviously target any fans of my own pages that I'm an admin of, but this would be just in general targeting examples here. Now, one thing I also want to mention is that uh, you may find um, some Facebook, again, doesn't tell you exactly what that match is. It will show up as an interest. So say I type a more general keyword like police. Now that could be, and it says the police here is an interest. That might be people who are just interested in police related pages. Police Academy, it does show up as like the movie, but it could also be police the the band we're not exactly sure um what what could come up here um and you'll see some other uh related keywords and so sometimes what i like to do is if i'm looking for a particular keyword i might select this keyword as an interest and then come up and then select the suggestions um key uh button here to then pull up other related keywords to the seed keyword I've put in here. And now I can see a bunch of other related keywords like police officer as a job title, police as a job title, and policemen as employers. And the more uh, similar page names I might, or uh, interests I might put in here, the the more these suggestions can get refined and show you some different options. So try putting in just one little potential keyword in there and selecting the suggestions box. One thing I also wanted to show you is that 
if you are targeting the fans of someone else's page, they might be able to kind of see that you would be targeting it, but there it's not going to really be super obvious because that that ad will just be in their news feed like other ads. So for example, this ad came up in my news feed for this dress and that's pretty cute. I kind of like that dress. But I can I can find out how they're targeting me by going to the three dots in the upper right corner of this ad and then click on why am I seeing this ad? And now it says that it, um, people have shown an interest in online shopping or women's clothing. That might be an interesting thing for you to know and start taking notice of, of how other people are targeting uh, ads in your own newsfeed because you can tell some of the keywords they're using. Now, keyword research has gotten a little bit more challenging on Facebook at this time. There used to be something called audience insights where you could get a little bit more knowledge about uh, pages that people might be interested in, but that has that tool has gone away. And so basically right now you've got just the suggestions and the browse area here to do your keyword research. So sometimes you can browse around in terms of interests in here, find some interesting keywords within here if you were gonna start digging down a little bit deeper. But a lot of these are pretty general and would end up giving you a pretty high audience size. So balance your uh, keyword research here, group similar keywords together when you're, when you're advertising and do a, uh, a mixture of keywords and then some other types of audiences that you're testing. So hope that was helpful and talk to you again soon. Definitely go check out my blog at andreavall.com for more tips. Talk to you later.